Hello and welcome. So in this video, we want to do two things. First, we want to go ahead and install a new copy of WordPress on our HostGator account. And then second, what we want to do is we want to restore a previous backup of our site, splattivity.com, which we've created with Updraft Plus and is stored on our Google Drive account. So if that's interesting to you, let's get started. So first, we're going to just go to splattivity.com and see what it looks like now. So this is not a very good looking site. In fact, if someone sent me here, I would not do business with them. So what we want to do instead is we want to go to our HostGator account and we want to log in with the portal. Since we have some of our credentials saved, we can just hit login. And then once we're here, we're going to go to the button that says manage package. Manage package means manage your hosting package. And we're going to go to the C panel, the control panel. Once we're in the cPanel, we're going to find Soft Delicious App Installer. And we're going to click WordPress because we want to install a new copy of WordPress on our site. Then we're going to go to this button that says Install Now. And we want to choose our domain, in our case, Splativity.com. If you want, you can go ahead and change the password for your default login, which we're going to do here. And then you can scroll down and hit Install Now. So I'm going to open up a new window of Firefox. And then I'm going to go to splativity.com. And remember what it looked like before. It had just had the HTML index here. It was a pretty bad looking site. Now, this is what the site currently looks like, but we actually want it to look like this. So in order to fix that, we're going to go back to our Google Chrome site and we're going to go to splativity.com and we're going to log in to our admin. Now when we're here, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to install the Updraft plugin because remember, this is a new copy of WordPress. Then we're going to have to activate that plugin. After we activate it, we're going to connect that plugin to our Google account. And then lastly, we're going to restore a version of our website. So if you go to plugins and then you go to add new, if you go to the search bar and you go to updraft, and then you can click install now. Once it's done installing, you can activate that plugin. Once it's activated, you can click this little icon here or this little link, which brings you to the Updraft Plus settings. And then once you're on a page that looks something like this, what we want to do is we want to go ahead to go to settings and we're gonna connect it to wherever our backup is stored. In our case, it's Google Drive. So we'd select Google Drive, we scroll down, we click Save Changes. We'll be prompted to give Google Drive control of our account, so we'll do that. And we're going to click the Google account where the drive is stored or where the backup is stored. Lastly, we're going to click this button, which is complete setup. And now what we can do is we can scroll down to existing backups. You'll notice that there is probably zero. What we want to do is we want to scan remote storage. And we're going to hit OK, even though it gives us this message. It's going to find potentially two or three storages, depending on what your backup would be. We're going to click the one that we want to use. So if we click this and then we go to the restore button and click that button, we're going to select all of these because we want all of the items to be restored. And then we're going to hit next. So this part of the process can take a little bit of time. We're going to check back in after it's done. Next, you might get a message that looks something like this, which is essentially asking you whether or not you want to restore something from a remote location. We're going to click the button which says Restore. Then you should get a page that looks something like this, where it's restoring the different parts of your WordPress website. Now, once it's done, you'll get a message that it was either successful or it had problems. If you want, you can go ahead and download the log, but in our case, we're just gonna hit return to updraft configuration. And then we're gonna open up our web page, and you'll notice it's restored to the previous version of our website or of our domain, splatchivity.com, whereas before it was just the 
default WordPress blog with the 2020 theme. Now it's the custom site that we've built over the last few lessons. All right, and that's a wrap. In this video, we looked at two major components. First, how to install a fresh copy of WordPress on your HostGator account, and then how to restore a version of your WordPress website, which in our case, we did using the Updraft Plus backup, which we had stored previously on our Google Drive account. So if you have any comments or suggestions, please add them in the comment section below. Otherwise, join us next time. Cheers.